So there we go, lining up, bumper to bumper, contact sport here are these street stocks, hence the reason they do line up bumper to bumper. You've seen all the other non-contact grades, they start from a standing start because the last thing you want them to do is crash. These guys start from a standing start because what we want these guys to do is crash. So uh, let's egg them on, let's get them gone. Let's start a wee thing here, crash, crash, crash. Let's do it here. The clerk of the course, the oldest thing at the speedway track, has handed it over to the starter. Not too good, but as we get up and underway, 16 Casey McEwen gets spun out courtesy of the driver that spun him out. As they make their way around 1 and 2, 25, Phil Johnson's the man that's going to lead it going down the back straight. Then it's 86, Chris Kugazu getting a nice wee shun there by Shannon Knight. Shannon Knight sends him wide. The 91 car goes in, hits the wall, kind of hard there. So 25, Phil Johnson leads as he makes a big snakey down the front straight. Chris Kugazu in behind him. Then it's Shannon Knight, then it's uh, Steve Dryden. Chris Kugazu goes round courtesy of Peter, uh, Shannon Knight. Sorry, sh he slaps it in reverse, follows Shannon into the wall. Is uh, the 91 car there, I'm pretty sure that's Rob Mitchell. He's up in the wall as well over there on the entry to turn one and two. But look at the two drivers up the front. 25, Phil Johnson. 33, Steve Dryden. He's the man that's doing it here. His home track. Can he hold off the 25 car of Phil Johnson? Casey McEwen gives a bit of a dig to the eight car of uh, Aaron Borthwick going around there. Okay, red flag, ladies and gentlemen. Red flag, that will be for the 91 car of Rob Mitchell. So up the front, 25, Phil Johnson, 33, Dryden behind him. Let's go racing here. Nice wee start there for Phil Johnson. The sixth car there of Stu Reed. just, uh, is it Stu Reed? Blake Dyer, sorry, Blake Dyer in the sixth car. As our uh, next lot of cars come out of three and four, you see that, the any car, 83, Megan Malloy. 29, Shannon Knight fighting that car, 86, Kugazu. Chris Kugazu, then we'll go back, 16, Casey McEwen from 8 here in Borthwick. Here comes our leaders, 33, Steve Dryden, got underneath that 25 car of Phil Johnson. Johnson's hard up on his tail though as they make their way down the front straight. Into one and two, they go. There goes 27, Peter Knight passes us here in the control tower. He flicks it into one and two. Then we'll go back, the six car, Blake Dyer, 83, Megan Malloy. There goes 29, Shannon Knight. Oh, look at Megan Malloy and Blake. They're in the wall over there down into entry turn one and two. As Chris Kugazu, Shannon Knight. These two have been having a wee play with each other. Kugazu just drills the side of 29, Shannon Knight. Bit of a tap and spin there. Megan Malloy gets up and underway now after that wee tap that they had, as does Blake Dyer. So all these remaining cars get up and go away going. Shannon Knight, though, he's lost a lot of ground. He's lost just about a whole lap on the 86 car of Chris Kugazu. Kugazu takes himself out, coming around three and four. Oh, look at this, father versus son. 29, Shannon Knight, 27, Peter Knight. As they make their way around, wire three and four. Down the front straight, Dad's going to leave his wee son low. He's going to give him a wee flick the other way. Oh, he just about put him in the wall, Shannon Knight. Oh, Dad, eh? The wee bit more experienced one. He goes on through. Casey McEwen right up on his back end, though. Our leader, Steve Dryden, comes past us in the control tower. Phil Johnson still chasing him nice and hard. Hasn't quite got enough in the tank, though. As we look for where it's all happening, Aaron Borthwick just ahead of the 33 car of Dryden. What's Dryden going to do? Is he just going to carry on through? That he is. Taking it a wee bit slower past the 29 car of Shannon Knight. He knows what Shannon Knight's intentions are. He's out there to cause a bit of trouble. Dryden's gone down low. Shannon drills him a wee bit. Anarchy, 8 Aaron Borthwick spins out the 29 car of Shannon Knight. 25, Phil Johnson goes on through, still to hold on to that second spot. Looks like a bit of a problem for the 83 car of Megan Malloy. Oh, oh look at that, left front flat wheel. That's why she slowed up. Look at this, father versus son, round two, ding, 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 gloves are off, let's go. 27, Peter Knight puts his son and drills him a bit of a, well, gives him a bit of a drilling down here in the front straight. He's cruised off nice and fast, so he don't want his son to catch him. But the chicken flag, sorry, I missed the white one. The chicken flag drops for 33, Steve Dryden. As we go back to our second place car, 25, Phil Johnson. Here comes the next two across the line. 27, Peter Knight. 16, Casey McEwen. 83, Megan Malloy coming up to a big halt there with that left front flat tyre. Chris Kugazu, 29, Shannon Knight. Going to have one last go. 
But 29, Shannon Knight crosses the line. 86, Chris Kugazoo. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Street Stocks at its best.